Okay, this is number 94. It's a screen with the siege of Belgrade on one side and a hunting scene on the other. And um, it dates from 1697 to 1701. It was created using tempera and resin on wood with shell inlay. There's two images with this, so it's because it's on both sides of the screen. It is seven and a half feet by 18 feet, and the screen was larger, but it had been divided up into six different panels, and most of which are in Mexico. But this particular piece is in the Brooklyn Museum, and it is a, a really interesting piece to me because it blends not just like European and American, but also Japanese art forms. So we're getting three different influences here. It was commissioned by Jose Sarmiento de Valladares. He was the Viceroy of New Spain and it was most likely displayed in Mexico's Viceregal Palace where it would have been divided, like they, it would have been used to divide a ceremonial stateroom from a more intimate setting room. Part of the palace was destroyed during a grain shortage riot, but it had been refurbished in a Baroque style. So the patron set out to restore the palace's glory and display his wealth and taste. Public life was tightly regulated, so the elite of New Spain and Peru created private spaces that better reflected their wealth and status. So they outfitted their homes with fine tapestries, furniture tipped with gold leaf, elaborate silver services, and treasures imported from Europe and Asia, which, which expressed their power. Colonial Spanish interiors were assembled from goods imported from Europe, the Middle East, Asia, as well as items produced locally to mimic coveted styles. This global approach to interior design was made possible because New Spain was the central location on the trade route between the Philippines and Spain. In Manila, in the Philippines, Spanish galleons would fill their cargo holds with porcelain, carved ivory, folding screens, and silk before heading towards Mexico. The artists are the Gonzalez brothers, and it's somewhat of a mystery about them. Some scholars of Spanish colonial art have debated whether or not they were actually Spanish or of Japanese origin. Both are possible, given the cosmopolitan nature of Mexico City at the time and the very real influences that we're seeing from both traditions. This is called Biombo Inconchada, and B-I-O-M-B-O, -O, and then Inconchado is E-N-C-O-N-C-H-A-D-O. And as I said before, it originally had six additional panels, 12 in total, um, and it's only known work to combine two elite Mexican genres of biombos, which are folding screens, and Tableros de Concha, Nacar y Pintura. I don't speak Spanish, so I hope I didn't butcher that. But that means basically shell inlay paintings, later known as Enconchados. The screen was made by local artisans who studied prints and paintings of tapestries from Europe to capture the style of the day. The use of the near contemporary broadsheet produced by one of the most important Dutch printmakers of the late 17th century expands our view not only to what kinds of print sources that were used in Latin America, but also the distance that such political prints, which would have been considered to be um, you know, not that important, it traveled to the degree where they are now prized, and how at least in one instance such prints were used um, to make the screen. The artists also use enconchado, an indigenous technique that combines mother of pearl inlay with painting, giving added depth to the figures and causing the screen to shimmer as if it was set off with jewels. So we're seeing an Asian screen using local techniques based on European prints and social political events. The scene that, we're, that we have is from the Great Turkish War, which is from 1683 to 1699 between the Habsburgs and the Ottomans. 
including the siege of Belgrade, which was modeled after a Dutch print on its front side. So let me see. Oops, sorry. Let me see if I have. Okay, so here is the hunting scene and the siege of Belgrade. So um, the it shows the moment when a city was relieved from a two-month siege by United Christian forces after being under attack by the Islamic Ottoman Empire. And then Belgrade, which had been in control of the Ottoman Empire since 1521, and when it was retaken by the Habsburgs. And then the other side is a decorative hunting scene and um, right there. And it is showing noblemen hunting boar and deer, also based on the European print source. And this would have been suited for a more intimate side of the room, like the what's called estrado. On the side of the screen designed here is to face the women's sitting room. Uh, and that's where they had elegant hunting scenes based on a range of European prints. The scenes are of Tep, I'm, I'm going to butcher this, Tepatzalan, half of the screen, are based on prints after Gobelin tapestries and Louis XIV's court artists. The rich floral border and garlands tied with red ribbon are um, decorative elements that um, would have been used to embellish the tapestries. And um, let's see, uh, they were also on the top of the hunt scene, which recall the kinds of things that would have appeared on the tapestries to which the print is related. Both main scenes and the decorative borders are embellished with gold paint and inlaid shell work, which would have, particularly in candlelight, enlivened the busy multi-figured composition. So whether this was an ideal propagandistic backdrop of the Habsburg Empire and power for the reception of the Viceroy's official international visitors, uh, it was a single piece of art. The screen told the story of the Spanish Habsburg power, and for those who viewed it, it communicated a message of inevitable continuity. So this side would be like cordoning off the side of the room where women would sit and chat and would, um, you know, like discuss uh, whatever women discuss at the time. But this side would have been faced out. So as visitors entered the palace or entered the room in this palace where the screen was um, at, it would have evoked a sense of power, of how powerful the Habsburgs were and it would have been intimidating to the people who um, were visiting the, um, the royal palace. So this is the screen with the siege of Belgrade and hunting scene. And um, just again to highlight the folding of it is very similar to um, like the white and plum blossoms that we talked about with um, Japan. And so they're getting that type of influence of using these screens to um, that comes from a totally different culture than where they're at. So, all right, moving on to the next one.